Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torn, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and the Fate of Iberia expansion. So, one thing to note as we get started here is that the Hungarians have broken free. They have a new king. They've broken free from Jerusalem. I assume what's happened here is perhaps an inheritance. Yeah, maybe the old king died here, and then, yeah, his, uh, yeah, it looks like his sons split the inheritance, uh, with one of them getting control of all the territory here and the other getting control of Hungary. So, no longer have that uh, situation there. Uh, so we're going to be starting out today's episode by looking at the Iberian struggle and the new phase we're in, which is compromise. Uh, just the effects we're getting here. So as you'd expect with it being the compromise phase, it makes war more difficult. Uh, so you can see, it also makes it easier to end the wars. Uh, it's uh, They're more likely to accept a white peace, any characters, uh, you have longer truces, and you pay more prestige for every war. So, uh, if we wanted to say attack Leon here or Castile next year, we could attack them as well. But I was thinking attacking Leon next. If we were to do that, it's going to cost us more prestige. Uh, then also, uh, defender advantage is down by negative five, uh, so that'll affect the battles. Uh, so you might want to, I don't know, try and stick to offense, I suppose. And then with the control growth. Uh, you actually lose control growth when at war. Uh, so that's something to, to consider. Uh, it's going to be affecting all of your counties. Then you got the cultural effects. So these will be largely positive. The promote culture proceeds faster. So that won't affect us because we're promoting culture acceptance instead. But you get the uh, plus five for opinion of different cultures. And max learning schemes is plus one. Uh, we have the Faith Effects. Holy Wars cannot be declared in the Struggle region. Uh, we weren't really using Holy Wars uh, before. And then Converting Faith is actually slower. So yeah, we're going to see that slow down some. I don't know how much slower. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but Opinion of Different Faith is up by plus 10. And then the additional effects are a 25% reduction of holding taxes. I don't remember what we were getting in the previous phase. Uh, but yeah, it might be a hit here. Or maybe not. I don't know if we were getting a worse penalty. I don't recall what the uh, uh, the hostility phase uh, penalties were. We also get a, uh, a penalty to popular opinion. So we'll likely see more rebellions, and we can already see that here. We have a dangerous faction that's going to rise up here in four months in four different counties. Uh, so a little bit larger than our previous uh, rebellions that we had uh, over the last few years. We've had some large rebellions uh, in this series, but those were a while ago. So we'll have to fight that before we can do any wars, and uh, frankly, we're probably not going to have the prestige to do any wars, considering the increased cost. Uh, we wouldn't even have any, even in the previous phase. Uh, so yeah, if we want to declare war here, just to conquer, uh, let's say, Leon, that's probably the one that makes us the most sense to take, it would be 675 prestige. So it doesn't look like it actually changed the cost. Yeah, because it's been 675 before. Maybe I read that wrong. I thought it said that it was going to increase the cost. Yeah, it says pay more prestige for wars against characters of a different faith, and, you know, he is a uh, Christian. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why it's the same cost, but point is, um, we're, we're, we could do that once we get to the 675 prestige, and after we put this rebellion down. Uh, before we do any of that, though, we got to handle these prisoners. Uh, just take a look at uh, each one individually and see what we want to do with them. So this guy's got a high marshal. Not a very good prowess, so it wouldn't make a good knight, so unless you're going to use them... Yeah, unless you're going to use him for the bonuses he has here in his good marshal, which we actually have some better marshals than that, so I don't know that you really need to, to recruit this guy. Uh, but yeah, if you converted him, which you might be willing to do, yeah, sure, why not? So we'll bring him in. Just We can't bring any money, so why not? Uh, so with this character here, yeah, he's not really all that impressive. Can we get some money? We can. We can get 10 gold from Duke Rodrigo. So we'll do that. Uh, this would be the king here, and yeah, he would be willing to accept uh, for a favor because he's broke. So what we could do is just wait until he gets some money. And I think that's what we're going to do. We'll wait. So anybody that has to do with him, with that particular king, unless we want to hire him, which probably don't want to hire this guy, uh, but yeah, unless we want to hire him, then there's really no reason not to just wait, uh, unless they can pay for themselves, of course, which this guy can do. And we're going to go ahead and ransom him for that gold. That's a mare. And then we have her. Looks like ransoming would not be the best option here. I think we're just going to go ahead and convert her. 
and get a weak hook on her. And then we have the uh, this boy here. And this is that previous count whose uh, territory we took. And, and really, honestly, guys, you know, we're not, uh, you know, we're not a cruel character, but I think we're, we're practical. And, uh, you know, you really, there's nothing to really get from him. And leaving somebody out there with these claims who hates you just doesn't make any sense. He's going to grow up and cause problems but one day, maybe. Maybe we'll never see him again. But I think we'd execute him. And we can do so because of his uh, Christian faith. Horrible way to go, burning at the stake, especially for a young boy here, but we're not the ones that do it. Somebody will do it on our orders, and we won't hear anything else about it. It's horrible, as it is. Uh, so yeah, let's go and let this play. Let's get up to speed 5 as we uh, make our way towards this rebellion here. Of course, we got these ransoms as well. Uh, that's right, I did forget. There's one more thing I wanted to do here. And we got that alliance too with our son. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and establish the uh, duchy building here. We haven't done that yet. Now, we are incredibly limited because we don't have that innovation yet. So again, we can only get the, the three down here. We got the royal reserves in our capital, mostly for the development growth. Let's get the leisure palaces. Makes sense that uh, our rulers would travel from the capital over to the coast to go enjoy the coastline. And uh, Barcelona is a, a beautiful city. Uh, obviously, I've never been there, but I've seen pictures. <laughs> I've seen some video of it, too, actually. Uh, so, obviously, the Barcelona of, of uh, 1149 would be quite different from uh, the Barcelona of 2022. But, yeah, let's go ahead and build it, guys. Uh, this gives us a, a bunch of bonuses. Uh, we'll have increased monthly prestige, stress loss, and uh, some success chance added to our hostile and personal schemes. So, that'd be helpful. I don't think we're actually working on assassinating anybody right now or any schemes really, so we could be doing that. And uh, he wants to bring us to the feast, and I suppose we'll go. Why not? So go and accept that. Uh, but yeah, we could we could set up a, a scheme to try and improve opinion with our marshal here. Why not? I know he's not really anybody important, but he's still in our council, and I imagine you'd want to have your council like you. So we'll work on that now. We'll try and get him swayed. All right, so we're at this feast here. Uh, we also finished the construction of those sal uh, shallow ore mines, and we're facing a dilemma over here. Uh, so the feast is dwindling down. I find myself deep in conversation with my unrestrained vassal, uh, Walia Ricarda. She inquires about my opinion on friendship, a subject she is deeply interested in. So we can say it's a subject that fascinates me as well. Uh, or we can say I'm more interested in you. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll go with that. Right, I'm not entirely sure who she is. Uh, she's over here. Okay. So with those shallow ore mines constructed, which is right here, uh, do we have the money to get anything else built? Yeah, we can go and get a new, new building done here. Uh, so probably again something for money because a lot of these are, uh, you know, garrison ones. So, our really our only choice is the pastoral land, so that's what we'll get. And we'll get us some additional levies as well. And a schemer has been discovered. Oh, did we find out who's trying to assassinate our, our spouse again? This time it's our brother, Muhammad. What advantage does he have to kill our wife? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, he lost his leg. Alright, so remember, Muhammad is... Well, actually, he moved. Alright, he was somewhere else. He's way over here now. All right, so he went closer to our harm, our homeland. Not quite down there, but, uh, you know, certainly a lot closer than we are. I'm just wondering what reason does he have to want to do that? Just, oh, it looks like they're rivals. I wonder how they became rivals. Maybe they attended a feast together, you know, one of our feasts or something, and came to hate each other? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but what would we want to do about that? He's sadistic, zealous, and impatient. Uh, he's our half-brother, so we have the same father but a different mother. Would we try and, um, kill him for that? I mean, why not? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Oh, he's too far away, uh, so we can't even attempt to. Never mind, then. I'm surprised he was able to interact with her, then, uh, with such a distance. And maybe he started it before he went over there, because he used to be here. Like, I think he was somewhere down here before. Uh, so yeah, maybe he started it before then, um, or maybe just because she's a rival. 
she can he can automatically do it. Not entirely sure. Uh, but we did get this uh, bonus here again, the discussions on strategy. So that'll be helpful for the rebellion that we're about to face. And a curse undone. So it looks like our rival here has died. So because of that, we lost some stress. All right, so that's good. Uh, stress is pretty low now at just six. And we gotta finish up the feast, and it looks like um, yeah, we'll lose whatever stress we have left here. Also, we got the uh, living healthy boost here. And this is from our wife's excellent stewardship. And we got a sensual proposal over here. Just wanted to see when that rebellion is happening. One more month. A sensual proposal. So this is our wife, Sultana Fatima. Uh, she's made her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night, I struggle to keep her off my mind. The feelings smoldering between us will soon either burst into flames or die out. All right, so of our three wives, that's the second wife here. Uh, she's the lustful one that we've had uh, a bunch of kids with. Five kids with her. Um, one of our spouses we haven't had any kids with, and that's our primary spouse who manages the uh, realm for us. And, of course, a big part of that is because she's older. Uh, but I kind of like to look at it as, you know, She's been busy managing our realm, helping us out, helping us rule. And so that's the reason why she just hasn't had any time to have kids. Uh, she also hasn't had any kids with us either, which is unfortunate because we married her for that giant's blood. Uh, but yeah, she's basically had all of our kids, right? Well, no, there's only five here. Uh, we had a spouse that died. That's right. And she had the other three. Uh, so yeah, she's the uh, mother of five of our children. And um, it's really just how do we feel about her? We can say, I want, I want to dwell forever in the inferno. She might become our lover and we will lay with her. We can say, this is a romance that will burn bright but short. We'll just lay with her. We can say, how sweet but no. And her uh, scheme attempt to seduce us will fail and we'll gain stress. Or I tire of these games, leave me alone. So yeah, she's attempting to seduce us, essentially. And just what do we want to make this into? You know, we're a, a heterosexual man. This is our, our wife. And, um, you know, makes sense that we would do one of these two options, I think. Just there's no reason to think that we wouldn't. However, the question is, do we want her to become our lover? I know she's older here, but she's also lustful. And we have had so many kids with her. One of them was just three years ago. And making her a lover would make kids even more likely. You would think with the age here that there wouldn't be an issue, but something to consider. But you know what? With the many the amount of kids we've had here, and we're we're friends with her as well. Yeah, I just think this is uh, the right option here. I want to dwell forever in the inferno. Clearly, that's what we've been doing for this marriage. As I return to the chambers, I share with Sultana Fatima. I'm greeted by an unexpected but appreciated sight. Our bed has been decorated with seashells, and Fatima herself is reclining on it, smiling enticingly. With hands, mouth, and limbs, we reaffirm the, devo the devotion we swore before Allah, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. All right, so as we are united in marriage, we are now united in heart, and she has become our lover. Okay. And uh, Yusef can go visit somebody. Sure, why not? That's our youngest, which we still kind of waiting to see how he'll turn out. I, I kind of would like to get him some territory, guys. And and I think we can either get that from Castile, uh, Castile or Leon here. I, I think we should take his territory, honestly. Are either of them currently at war? Looks like that's a no. Okay. But yeah, before we can do anything, though, got to get this rebellion done, which is right here. Uh, and our son has returned unharmed. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this down so we can fight off this rebellion real quick. And we'll rally up our troops. Somewhere down here. And that is a, a large rebellion, guys. Uh, that's a significant size rebellion. Alright, well let's go ahead and get these troops raised up. Uh, obviously not right next to it. Probably right here in the capital, honestly. Uh, so, do we want to raise up a wall or just the men in arms? 2,000 would be enough if we don't have to fight too many of them. I mean, they're all levies, though, so it's probably fine. Uh, so, let's just raise up the men in arms. That uh, should be very quick. Uh, who's commanding? Uh, Idris, our marshal, is currently commanding. 
and obviously we know about all these sieges here. Uh, so let's go ahead and put ourselves in charge. He's got that rough terrain expert, but I think we're better here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go after them just, uh, yeah, we'll probably just go from west to east, I think, and then go up north and get the, the rest of those wrapped up. Uh, so did Snow die? Oh man. The cat we've had for a big chunk of our lives has now passed. Snow is not as young as she once was, and as she crawls into my lap, I can feel her trembling. I gently stroke her white fur and listen to her purr long into the night, but as silence falls, I know that she won't wake again. I'll miss you, Snow. Or we can say, I'll make sure that you'll forever be by my side, and then we'll gain a court artifact, a small tent hide. Would we do that? I mean, we love this cat. Like, everybody tried to, to either buy the cat, or you had, like, I don't know how many of our wives, if not all three, at least two of them, uh, you know, complaining about the allergies, and we still kept the cat. I've always found taxidermy a little bit weird, particularly for pets. So, I mean, I personally wouldn't do it, but would you, Seth? Probably. Even, even though he's greedy, I think you'd do it. And I'm interested to see this uh, court artifact. It looks like it's just a small tanned hide, but something you can get uh, from a variety of ways. But, um, yeah, we'll do it. And did we get it right away? Yeah, it looks like we got it right away. And we need more court, court artifacts. The hide of the mighty cat of Almedo. Or Almedo, maybe? Yeah, we'll just pronounce it Almedo. Uh, but that's for his cat, and even says his known the name there, his beloved cat Snow, and it's way better than expected. The hide of the mighty cat, I love it. Increases prestige and court grandeur. Why not? Let's put it there. A little tiny uh, fur up there. That's ridiculous. Uh, so we've got that up there now, and I think it's fitting. You know, I gotta say, I really like the the story for this character. I've had fun with them. It's worked out pretty well with all his sons, and then of course, as many people noted in the comments. Um, wow, we got a little bit of thunder going. As I said, guys, it's just constant rain at this time of year. And Muhammad died. He died under su suspicious circumstances. I wonder if our wife took him out. Man, we can't see his, his rivals. I kind of think it was her. Let's just say it was her. That's what he gets for trying to take her out. We, we got some, I mean, we got some uh, badass wives, man. Uh, we've seen that over and over. They've helped us out so much throughout our rule. Oh, but yeah, everybody was knowing how cool it was that, uh, you know, our son got revenge for his brother's death. And, um, looks like the rebel rebels are coming over here, so that's just one less that we have to go after. Uh, so we did get a, a martial work. We got a scheme at court. Uh, he's discovered that our daughter-in-law, Shakira, is scheming against our wife. Well, that can't be allowed. Yeah, I feel like we spent a lot of scheming here with the ladies in our court. Uh, so we can say, let the traitor be known. We can throw her in jail. I mean, she's our daughter-in-law to Abu Bakr. Gave him a, a granddaughter, or gave us a granddaughter. Uh, and just recently, too. Oops, I'm not trying to arrange a marriage for her already. Uh, and she's pregnant again. So it is now raining. Sit in the window, and it's quite loud, guys. Well, sorry about that. Uh, but uh, what do we want to do here? I, I don't know that I, I want to arrest her. I mean, she's pregnant. Yeah, I'm not going to do that to my my son who served me so well uh, so I don't think we're gonna accuse her I think we're just gonna let her do her thing I know it's our wife and all but um, we could let it be known without throwing in jail I suppose we could do that yeah that's what we'll do so we're not just hiding oh well, not just like covering up or whatever uh, we'll reveal it without throwing in jail I think that's a good compromise, although our wife probably won't think so. Uh, I imagine she'd be quite unhappy about it. Uh, so we got our, our perk. Let's go ahead and get... I guess we'll go to the man's home. That'll actually help us here against these rebels. And so we'll get this guy wiped out. He was coming to help, but uh, we won the battle before he was able to. So get him wiped out. And um, looks like they've all joined up here in one army. Now, still not a problem at all because they are, you know, all levies. So it's not an issue. But yeah, they, they did uh, come together here and try and do that siege with one army. And, oh, our friend died. Ah, that's a shame. So getting a lot of stress from that. And we no longer have snow 
to pet. Make ourselves feel better. I guess we can turn to the to the weed. Alright, so this battle again will be, you know, pretty easy since it's against levies, and that should uh get this rebellion finished up. We captured uh the leader, who happens to be a giant, so you already know I'm gonna hire this guy. There's no other way this could go. He's already Muslim too, so we don't have to convert him. Uh, so that works out nicely for us. Um, so yeah, we finish up the battle, only losing 68 of our own dudes here. Uh, let's go and enforce our demands in the rebellion. And let's disband our armies. And then we'll uh, take a look at the prisoner. Also, we can see if he's got the money. He does not, not quite. Alright, so let's recruit him. And do we want a weak hook on him? I don't know what we'd use it for. Yeah, let's just go and negotiate the release. Alright, so now we're just waiting to get the prestige uh, to be able to do a war. Alright, so he's now one of our knights. Probably one of our better knights at this point. And it looks like the crusade did fail. I was not expecting that. Alright, so the infidel infidels tasted the wrath of Allah. That's fantastic news. We defeated the Christians. Remember, that was over just this one county here. They just couldn't get it done. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, even if we didn't uh, help out in it at all. Another feast. I mean, man, you see, you can't really see it from here, but uh, whenever we see ourselves in these events, we're getting uh, quite tubby. Uh, you know, we're uh, in our older age here. We're just enjoying our life, man. Just enjoying our life. Uh, so we will accept the invitation and go to another feast. We just love these feasts. We'll go to Maul. Apparently he does as well. Uh, so yeah, we look forward to this. We're super excited. And uh, this is going to result in us getting a uh, nice reduction of stress. We are a famous reveler as well. So uh, I think we got that a while ago. Uh, hopefully with all these feasts, we'll, we'll get to the, the third level. Um, so the piece is dwindling down. And this is just the Sheik Ramon. And he wants to talk about troop composition. Something I'm sure we are very fascinated with. So uh, yeah, we'll get closer to form a friendship with him. And we were able to sway Idris by a little bit. This is an event about a hidden meaning. The other guests are laughing and chattering in the noisy hall, making it hard to focus on the gruel in front of me. I draw lines and engagements in the greasy sludge as I think of ways to counter various battle plans. So with my skirmishers harrying the carrot flank, it seems like this might work on a real battlefield. Alright, so we'll get some skirmisher bonuses. And, uh... Maybe get some martial lifestyle points, perhaps? I didn't say that, but... It's just, well, it would have told us if we got experience. Uh, but yeah, we uh, are friends with him. I don't know, I kind of feel like... Is that the guy we were already friends with? Maybe not. No, that's his guy. I just got him mixed up. Kind of look a little bit alike, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, we got so many friends. Wow. We are just such a well-liked character. Hey, it was a great character overall. I mean, he's been a great character, I mean. I'm already talking about him like he's dead. He's got plenty of life left. And uh, looks like Shakira had her baby, and that was a son. So Abu Bakr has a son now. All right, fantastic. Uh, so we can go ahead and name him, since he's in our court. And um, kind of want to just name him after his father. Yeah. We'll name him after his father. Uh, another scheme at court. Again, lots of scheming. And um, it seems like they're always broken, the schemers. Uh, yeah, they always have those graphical issues. And uh, this is Wally Jacob attempting to, to kill our wife. Well, this is a different situation than, uh, uh, you know, when one of our, our family members, a daughter-in-law. Yeah, this is, is not going to be tolerable. I don't think so. Uh, we're going to have to arrest this guy. So we're going to throw him in jail. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with him yet in the prison. We'll take a look at him. Can we get the money out of him yet? No, nah, I'm, I'm just rushing this. I'm trying to get my damn money. Scan force him to pay the 30 gold. But is that an equivalent, a suitable punishment for trying to kill our wife? I, I really don't feel like it. I mean, even though I know we just let somebody go on that. But again, that was family. That was, I looked at it as family bickering. Uh, if we if we killed him, executed him, we actually gained dread and tyranny. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I guess dread's great, but... Yeah, I'm surprised because we're really just killing somebody who uh, committed a crime. But maybe it's not being marked as a crime. Not a known criminal. Hmm. 
Now we can't execute him. Alright, well, we could just banish him, I suppose. I suppose it'd be suitable. Uh, that's also an act of tyranny. Well, that's an act of tyranny, then we'll just kill him. Yeah, we'll just kill him then, because I think that's probably the best option, and who cares about piety at this point, right? Uh, is that we're going to behead him? Because, I mean, we tried to kill my wife. We love our wives. Uh, secret has been exposed. Who's secret? Uh, extramarital affair. Oh, but it's the Alamo. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? Alright, so, um, with that, and I mean, that's not really a crime, though, is it? Yeah, it's not a crime. I we wouldn't, probably wouldn't want to punish him anyway for that. And there's been another secret exposed as well. Okay, that's the, the same one related here. Got it. And our last chance. So is this a uh, a character who's like a guest? Plan on leaving? Yeah. He wants us to, to push his claims, which I have no intention to do. So may your journey be swift and safe. Yeah, I'm not really looking to go into France. We got enough issues here in Iberia. We don't need to go over there. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll let him go over there. And, or, well, I don't think I read that right, but anyways, we'll let it happen. Uh, another secret exposed here. Just all kinds of stuff going on over here. And this is involving our son and heir. He's had an extramarital affair with his lover. Okay. So now we know that uh, our son has a lover, or, and this, of course, is our, our future character, uh, we playing as. So it looks like he got his lover pregnant. The question is here, has she had any other children? She has not. Okay, I wasn't sure if those children were the ones with his wife or not. They are. Oh, uh, that's right. Those are the, uh, the kids we'd seen before. Yep, we know about them. Alright, um, so what will this bastard child mean for us? So already our son and heir is having a little brood of children. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to see what happens with them. The way of the hammer... The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To raise my hammer, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Alright, so we can say, me and my trusted hammer will not part. I love that. Uh, that'll give us uh, the respected expert increase of two prowess. Or, let's end the monotony, hand me another weapon... 70% chance we'll gain prestige and 100 martial lifestyle experience points. 30% chance we'll get wounded. I mean, we've had it our whole life. It was like named after our dynasty. And I, I just love the way that was phrased. Me and my trusted hammer will not part. That's what we're going to say, guys. So we've seen this event before. A lot of times it's a crappy item. Um, but we're greedy and we're not willing to, to part with our money for this. So we're going to go with that option. And it uh, looks like we finished the construction in two locations. All right, excellent. Uh, so we'll start over here, I suppose. And go ahead and prove to the meadows. And uh, we should have enough money to do both of these. Get the homesteads over here. All right, excellent. So, again, just kind of waiting for that uh, prestige to get up. Because I'd, I'd really like to get that territory in time before we die. Again, we have a lot of time, but yeah, we'll make sure that we get him him a title. Um, who do we have as his guardian? Nobody, apparently. He's just getting, uh, he's fickle now because because of that. Alright, I wasn't aware uh, that we didn't have a guardian for him. So we could make ourselves his, his guardian. Um, diplomacy, we're okay at. Our learning is, is garbage. It'd probably be better to give him somebody else as a guardian. I wasn't even aware that, was, uh, that we didn't have uh, a guardian set for him, so that's a problem. Uh, we do have him betrothed already, so that's been taken care of. Uh, I guess we can take a look at his mom. Yeah, she would not be a good option. Probably gonna want somebody else. Uh, he's paying homage to us, so we'll go and accept that. Uh, but let's just go and go through this real quick. And it's uh, money too, so we like that. And we swayed that character. So we'll have to take a look at uh, him and see if we want to do him again. Yeah, I guess we'll just uh, look at maybe our vassals. See if there's anybody really good here. Uh, diplomacy wise that also has decent learning although really diplomacy is the most important thing here yeah I'll probably just hand him off to to this Wally character Wally Zaid 
Oh, and he's got the quick trait. So that's another reason to hand him off to him. Unfortunately, it looks like he already has two wards, his his two sons. Uh, so he's not an option. We'll have to pick somebody else. Uh, so yeah, we'll go into the court again. I didn't see anybody. Maybe, uh, or I guess we were looking at vassals. Maybe somebody in our uh, in our court would be better. I mean, we have uh, our wife who um, I think we've had her educate somebody before. One of our, our, our children. I might be wrong on that one. But she has the best diplomacy. We also have our half-sister, an antiquarian, and she's got that intelligent trait, so probably would be the, be the uh, better option. So yeah, she can train her nephew. Oh, educate child here. And this is going to be Prince Yusuf. And it looks like we have like other uh, kids that need to be educated as well. But do they have their traits yet? Uh, Fatima does. Princess Fatima, our daughter. Uh, so forget about her because she's all the way in the back here. She's the, she's actually the youngest, and uh, she has the charming trait. So we could do the diplomacy, or we could do the entry. I guess we'll do another diplomacy. And you know what? I think we're just gonna hand her off to the same uh, character, our sister. She can just train them both. Yeah, I think it makes sense. There we go. All right, excellent. So she's got both of our kids, young kids, training with her. And uh, romance, a declaration of love. So this is regarding the the Duchess of Toulouse, who's quite powerful over here. So I'm walking the gardens with some of the lords at court when I notice Duchess Perrine of Toulouse, maybe that's Perrine, uh, approaching. I step aside to let her pass, but to my great surprise, she blocks my path and kneels before me. Before I have time to properly process this turn of events, Duchess Perrine begins to sing. I quickly recognize the tune. It is a famous Yemeni love ballad. I've heard it performed countless times, but never with such skill and passion. The intense emotions of the song are mirrored in Perine's gaze, which is set on me. She does not look away for a single heartbeat. So we say, you flatter me, my lady, or abandon this foolish endeavor immediately. I mean, like, as a greedy person, we want all the women, right? <laughs> That's the way I look at me. Got, we got three wives, but it's never enough. And while we have a lover here who we're very devoted to, I mean, at this point she's had to accept it, I mean, that we're with other women. Although maybe not, because she's the only one we have kids with. Uh, but this is touching. I feel like, um, we'll say you flatter me, my lady, and she'll attempt to win my heart. We'll see what she has to offer here. And uh, and so much effort put forward here, I'm, uh, I feel touched. I feel flattered. So let's do this thing. Let's see what happens. We'll give her a chance. We'll give her a shot, guys. Uh, so we can negotiate an alliance with uh, this character here, our grandson. And I'm not sure why we haven't done that yet. Oh, okay. I see. He's a... Uh, I got it. So he's just the, the Wally here. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's not really any reason to, to do it with somebody low rank. And I was thinking it was this grandson here, the Amir. We've, we've probably already allied with him. And a uh, notable guest has, has arrived, a trained healer. Oh, wow. She's awesome. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got issues here, but that's, yeah, <laughs> that's a, a major issue. But look at this. She's great, man. Uh, look at that learning. That is, like, stupidly good. But unfortunately for her, our son already holds this position. We can't just replace him like that, can we? I mean, I just, I don't know we could just replace him like that. Uh, that'd be a... Uh, just cold. Uh, but let's just take a look and, and see if there's any other positions that we can replace. And we got all our family doing everything, don't we? Yeah, we got family like doing everything right now. I mean, he's the court tutor. I mean, he's only so-so at that. I suppose you could replace him in one of these positions. He doesn't have to be the court tutor and the doctor. I was trying to want to train. I was trying to train him up as a doctor, though. I thought it'd be interesting to see him as a doctor here. I guess we'll leave him as is, but um, as we get older, we might want a more experienced doctor as we're dealing with like health issues and stuff like that, which here we are right now. We're obese. We expected this. We saw it coming. It's not surprising. So that's unfortunately going to hit our health here. And then we also lost the health benefits we we're getting from snow. So yeah, I don't know, guys. Well, let's see what happens. I thought we were going to live a long life, but uh, the situation has changed a bit. Uh, we did finish converting the faith in that province. Uh, so do we want to go ahead and 
you get them working on something else? Hey, I guess so. We am uh, continue to convert. And, huh, interesting. We had already converted this once. Uh, there must be a Christian character in charge there. So we can convert it again. Well, the problem is going to be uh, consistent as long as we let, allow him to stay here uh, as a as a Christian. Now he's our friend, so I'm wondering if um, you know we can demand his conversion. Here he goes down here, and uh, he'll accept it 100% chance. So we might ask something in return though. And yeah, he just converted. No problems there. All right, excellent. So no more issues with him converting provinces. Uh, what about over here? Is this a, a Christian ruling as well? Yeah, this is Sheik Ramon. Uh, he probably would not be so willing. 52% chance of uh, accepting, and he'll probably demand something like a hook. We can ask him, though, I guess. I mean, it's not like a huge issue for us, like what what uh, religion these characters are. But yeah, why not? We'll ask him. We'll see if there's any other vassals we might want to talk to. I'm not going to go through all of them, but we we'll got a few of them. I mean, a lot of these vassals are our son. Yeah. Uh, we got this guy here. We can ask him as well. And that's good. We'll see what they say. Uh, I'm not going to give them a hook or anything, so more than likely we won't actually get them to convert. We can usurp the Kingdom of Castile, but we don't want to do that, guys. That would cause problems with the inheritance. Uh, this is the next event for the, uh, the romance from the Duchess of Toulouse. So Duchess Perine is not the only one trying to win my approval. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we're super popular now, aren't we? Um, so she is um, one of our vassals, and she's um, also trying to, to romance us. But she's married. I mean, the Duchess is too, I suppose. But um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do here. Let's, let's continue reading and see what our, our choices are. So more... Uh, more and more often, I am approached by my vassal, Walia she Shezada, something like that, and her compliments have gone from polite to intimate. But tonight at dinner, Walia Shazada drank too much and puked on my dress. Without waiting a second, Duchess Prine swooped in to save me from the mess. Okay, uh, I thought we were going to have to make a choice here with, uh... Well, I guess you can choose her. Uh, but yeah, oh, Duchess Prine, how heroic... And uh, we'll get an opinion boost with her. Leave me be, I can manage on my own. Uh, this would result in us attempting to romance her, I suppose. Or I've had enough of both of you. I mean, she just threw up on her, her, her dress. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with this one. How heroic. Swooped in, cleaned up vomit. I mean, that's a sign of true love. If somebody will clean up vomit on you or from you, uh, your own vomit, uh, that's, that's a sign of love right there. Uh, so she Amir's friendship. So we've seen this event before, but you know, as an impatient character, I feel like we're gonna be a little bit more rough with this guy. Yeah, I never want to see his face again. Get out of here. Leave me alone. I've lost patience with you. And uh, he has decided to become a Muslim. Uh, well, he is not. Okay. So I mean, yeah, that was uh, one success and one failure. Not bad. And just everybody's cheating on everybody around here. Just the immorality going on. We are a different character. We might seek to clean house here. Well, not with this one. I don't think we care enough. I mean, shoot, we're about to to cheat on one of our or all of our spouses, I suppose. Uh, so Idris was swayed again. I don't think it's necessary to sway him any further. Uh, so let's find. Somebody else we might want to sway. I mean, we really don't have low opinion with anybody except for the Alama here. So I guess we could sway him. Why not? I mean, we could also learn another language. Um, well, we don't know any languages. So we could just learn a language. Probably wouldn't go well at this stage in our lives, though. I think this character's tried several times and failed. Uh, it might have been a previous character, but I think it was him. Ah, oh, another one of our friend died. Uh, another one of our friends died. And, and that's one of the problems with having so many friends, and especially as we get older. Uh, we are going to take a lot of stress from this, guys. Oh, interesting. I didn't know we were friends with this character over here. Huh. You know, if I had known that, I probably would have assisted in the... Uh, yeah, it would have made sense to assist in that crusade that w went against him. I didn't know he was a friend. Uh, yeah, we got an open uh, counselor position because our friend was also the steward. 
And, um, you know, it makes sense to put our son in charge here. I know he's not the highest here on the stewardship uh, the sheik here would be, but he's also a powerful vassal, so I feel like it makes sense to put him in place. So go ahead and assign him. Uh, also, um, you know, our current marshal, who we just spent all that time uh, making friends with, the former peasant leader, you know, he's a great marshal, uh, but... It looks like Malik is now a powerful vassal after we gave him those two titles. And I feel like we're going to put him in place here. Have two of our sons, or three of our sons, excuse me. Three of our sons in our council. You know, this is a, a nepotism for sure. So we may have that event fire again. Although I think that might have more to do with titles than uh, positions in the council. But yeah, there's that one event that demands that... Uh, I mean, that could still fire too because our sons rule a lot of territory. Uh, you know, where they want uh, more land to be given out to characters who are not related to you. Yeah, I think we're going to put him in place, guys. Even though he's not quite as good. Um, yeah, why not? We'll have uh, three of our sons in the four positions. Uh, is there a son that we could put in this one? We just have nothing but sons here. Um, you know, we have Idris here. I, I really want to give him a county before we die. Kind of like we feel bad about disinheriting him. Give him a county or whatever. If we get an extra one. Yeah, maybe we'll grant him one. But, um, he would do okay. And better than our current chancellor, though. Yeah, I could potentially see doing that, but he's a powerful vassal, so he does want a position. Now, he's not a bad character, and he's old, so, uh, could just wait till he dies first before you did that. Yeah, that'd always be an option. Uh, what is the notifications up here? Uh, titles that can be created. Yeah, we do have duchies. We're aware of that. And uh, a lot of wars we could declare. We have the prestige now. I didn't notice that, so I think we're going to go and start that conflict, even though, yeah, we're right here at the end. I, I seem to always start wars at the end of episodes. It's just the way I do, I guess. Uh, looks like um, this has been completely broken apart. So was that the, like, the king dying or something? I don't know if there's any way for us to find him again. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think these guys are related to that former king. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This could have been a rebellion. I'm not entirely sure. But it's three separate characters. I don't know where the king is at all, that former king. Is this him here? Fernando II. There he is. Okay, so this was his grandchild, his grandson, that inherited here. While the other two are not related at all. I don't think, anyways. Yeah, they're not even the same dynasty here. So yeah, I don't know. It clearly wasn't just an inheritance, obviously. Uh, it must have been uh, a rebellion or something. But yeah, uh, Castile has broken apart is the point. And thus, these would be three separate conflicts to, to get each of these counties conquered. So we want to do that. Uh, but let's go after Leon first, guys. Um, I think this would be the, the better war to do. Uh, right now, we get more territory. And most importantly, we get a duchy that we can grant to our youngest son um, so that we don't have to disinherit him. Because I, I prefer not to disinherit in role plays. I do it a little bit, and, and there is some, uh, certainly some historical precedence to it. Um, so I do it a little bit, uh, but try not to do it too much. Not as much as we do it in other uh, non role play series. So with this one, we'll get three counties, so definitely the, the better option. Uh, I don't know if he has any allies. Looks like he does. With his allies, he actually will be quite powerful. So who the hell are we all fighting here? Uh, so Galicia will join, and that's 2,600 troops there. He has this count here, um, who apparently has a lot of troops. Okay, interesting. And then you have, um, that's a truce, so it's just these three. All right, well, we still outnumber them, and we have our own allies to call, so, man, yeah, not too worried about it, guys. Uh, so let's go and, call and declare war on him. And, uh... Do we want to pull in an ally? Can we pull in an ally? I guess this is the real question here. Um, you know, we have the Emir here, which is 3,200 troops. This Emir here, which is 3,300 troops. Uh, or obviously, uh, the 170 dude, dudes we can get here. Um, so I think it makes most sense to get the, the most troops. There's also the question of where are they coming from? They're both coming from over here, aren't they? Yeah, so he has more troops. But yeah, he's closer to Leon. So, the extra 100 dudes probably isn't worth it. Also, we helped him uh, more recently with the rebellion. And, um, yeah, he can help us in this conflict. Uh, so, let's go ahead and call him to war. This is going to be 150 prestige. So, this will actually tank our prestige into the negative, unfortunately. But we'll get out pretty quick. 
All right, so let's get these troops raised up. And I suppose we'll just want to go right here. Yeah, it's probably good to go. And um, we're going to raise all the troops up here. And with that, play for a few days, get them all raised up. He did accept, so we got negative 28 prestige now. And we have raised up almost 1,200 troops of our own. All right, so we're going to need to chase after him. We're going to need a, a fairly large army to kind of stomp around and also an army to do sieges, but, you know, I don't know if we're going to be able to separate them too much with all these different armies we're going to be facing. If we, if we separate them too much, we could have some serious problems to wipe out our siege armies if we get too far away. Uh, so that's something to consider. Might not want to bring the siege armies in until after we wiped out an army or two. So uh, this is what we'll do. We'll split them up. We'll create a, a rather large army with some men-at-arms and go after him here. Uh, we want to get rid of the uh, siege engines and a good chunk of levies. Uh, probably not any more than 5,000, and even that's going to be more than we're going to be able to supply in a lot of this territory. But we can always come back in our own territory to supply, and we can always split them a bit further. Uh, but yeah, we need enough to be able to fight two armies. Uh, so let's go and just pull out some more levies here. And get them down to would be 5200 be all right yeah 5200 should be good to go in fact you could probably put a bit more in there like get them up to uh, i don't know maybe 5500 is what i'm thinking let's pull a few more of these dudes out yeah that looks pretty good uh so then you just like take these guys and just kind of leave them here maybe even have them retreat a bit further so they won't get attacked frankly you're probably gonna have to uh split this in half honestly and then just send the other dudes elsewhere. Uh, yeah, with the, the main army, we're going to go after him there. Uh, as for the commander, I feel like um, it's got to be us. Yeah, it's got to be us. Uh, so we're going to want to try and uh, intercept him there. What's the quickest way? Yeah, he's probably going to retreat this way. I don't think we're going to catch up to him, but we'll, we'll try. Um, but let's go this way simply because uh, we can get supplies for longer doing that. And then for the, these troops, um, let's just send one over here. And is that who we want to be in charge? Probably not. Put the, the Sheik in charge. He's good with the uh, sieges. Although, actually, take that back. We'll just put uh, this guy in charge, Idris, our former marshal. And then here is where we'll want Sheik Ramon. All right, move him over here. So just have him back a little bit while we chase down this army. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know how, how far around to chase him. Probably won't be able to catch him, honestly. Yeah, I don't expect we'll catch him, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll have to do this war in the next episode. Uh, we do have to end it here, but this is to get that duchy uh, for our youngest son so we don't have to disinherit him. And uh, then we'll have secured the inheritance because, uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all that's left. It's just the, uh, the younger son. He's set to take all these counties from us. So give him a duchy, and then um, all the counties we currently hold go to Prince Opman our uh, current heir so it'll work out nicely uh, hopefully we'll have enough uh, money here to pay for the conflicts it should be pretty good as long as we don't get events that uh, take a lot of money from us we do have to be careful though uh, because they got like 8,000 something troops maybe around 9,000 uh, plus they can get more from mercenaries and you know uh, maybe the Templar Knights get involved again uh, so we gotta be careful here that our 5500 don't get themselves outnumbered and defeated uh, so we'll see what happens there guys. Remember we also have our ally pulled in the conflict And if we earn enough prestige, we can always pull in another ally just to make this go a little bit smoother uh, So he'll be uh, coming to assist us. Yeah, you see he's coming up this way, but that'll take time uh, But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode If you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment uh, Remember the uh, next episode won't be until Tuesday uh, we got a bunch of showings on on uh, Saturday and I'm just noticing that the new Hungarian um, country here, uh, you know, it's just uh, became independent again here uh, under the, the the king's son, the former king's son. And they have a big old rebellion going on. And this is a massive rebellion. This is a civil war, frankly. Since they're not the only ones facing rebellions, you got Poland facing rebellion, as is England. And yeah, they got one as well, which seems to be mostly over here in Normandy. Uh, but yeah, because we we have so many showings on Saturday, I won't be able to record a video for Sunday. And Sicily. Sicily also has a rebellion 
There's rebellions all over the place, guys. Yeah, all across Europe you got rebellions. Uh, but yeah, I do hope to see you guys on that next episode, which is we on Tuesday. And thanks for watching.